up guys learning with rich here um in this video so after learning how to add sinks to the sanitary system that we are working on in this very quick exercise so we are going to refine the sanitary stack so we are going to continue with the work that we are doing on our sanitary system so in this video we are just going to adjust the sanitary stack okay so to do that i'm just gonna zoom in again to this area where we are working and then i'm gonna open this uh, section here so i click that right click and then i'll just select go to view okay and then i'll just click the floor plan and then i click the tile views just like that and then i'll just zoom in here okay so you see this one so i'm going to uh, upgrade this elbow here so instead of elbow i'm gonna make that t by clicking that fittings and then selecting the plus icon to upgrade that to t fittings just like that and then i'm just gonna make sure that the direction is like this going down okay and then i'm just gonna create here a pipe just click that right click that one and then select draw pipe okay just draw pipe and then just create like that and then maybe i'll just use an align tool here just to align that pipe to that green there you go so if we are going to check this on the 3d view 3d plumbing so this is now how it looks like okay so uh, there you go okay and then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add another fitting here so let's say uh, we want to create another fitting here like the clean out so what i'm going to do is i go to the systems tab and then look for the pipe fitting just click that and then let's look on the properties so I already loaded it here in the project. So I'm going to look for that fitting, this one, the Y combination with 8 uh, band PBC Schedule 40 DWV. Okay, so I'll just select standard and then I'll just pick this pipe here. Okay, just pick that. Don't worry about the direction. So just select modify here. And then here on the 3D view, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that arrow to flip the side just like that. And then I'm going to select this rotate icon here to rotate that fitting. And there you go. Okay. And then I'm going to change the offset height of my fitting here. So I click the fitting and then I'll change here the middle elevation. So I'll just type 1. For one foot okay one and then enter there you go okay and then after that so I'm going to create or I'm gonna place another fitting here okay so I'm going to put a plug there so again I'm going to select the pipe fitting and then click the type selector and then let's look for the plug where is that so that's the one plug pvc so i just click that one and then let us just pick that fitting click and there you go okay so there's our now the pipe plug to cup our cleanup Okay, so as you can see, the plug is added to end to cup off the clean out. So a clean out is required on all vertical stacks. Okay, and then for the last part, so maybe I'm just going to put a cap here. So I'm going to make sure that it has a capability of automatically placing a cap here. If I select this pipe, as you can see, there's a tool here called Cap Open Ends. If I click this, you can see that there is a warning. Okay, so Revit could not find a matching cap in pipe types PVC sanitary 
please check the routing preferences of pipe types PVC sanitary. So that's now is our clue. So we are going to check the routing preference of this pipe that we have here. Okay, so I'm just going to cancel that and then select that pipe. Let's go to the edit type to open the type properties. And then let's look for the routing preferences. Let's select edit. And then let's look for the cup. So that's the reason why. So it's none here. So that's why we're going to load one. So we click the drop down arrow and then let's look for this one cap. Let's click that. And for the minimum size, I'll just select all. Just like that. And then I select here. Okay. And then okay. Right. And then after that, <clears throat> with this pipe selected, just click now the cap open ends. And there you go. So there's now the cap. All right. So basically, this is now our, this is the final exercise uh, model that we have now. Okay. So on our next video, we are going to create the cold water system. All right. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.